Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wildweiler Weekly Wrap. As always, I am Wildweiler. After last week's whirlwind vlog, I spent more time doing things this week, and some of them were even things from last week's vlog. Namely, I played a lot of the game Airship Colon Kingdoms Adrift. And I realized I have really complicated thoughts about this game. On its surface, Airship Colon Kingdoms Adrift has a lot of what I want from a game, namely airships, trading, Endless Skies, combat style reminiscent of Sid Meier's Pirates. But every time I finish a session of playing that game, I always feel like I've wasted my time. I always look up and it's like, oh, two hours are gone. And I feel just bad. And I did a lot of thinking about these feelings. And I tried to understand them better. And I realized that the gameplay loop is just boring. Like, I just don't find it fun. There's a lot of incredibly slow travel from place to place. The vast expanses of the sky are as empty as they are shapeless. And I just... The game loop is not engaging. Sure, there are other ships to fly around and whatnot, but running across them feels more random. And you have to go out of your way to sort of encounter things that are interesting. A lot of the systems in the game are completely impenetrable and hidden behind menu after menu after menu, and it's confusing and weird. There's a lot of screens that aren't super easy to figure out, and it's just not great in that regard. But at the same time, I put 12 hours into this game in a little more than a week and a half. And that's crazy. Like, why is that? Clearly, I already got my money's worth from it as far as time spent playing versus time money spent on the game. So I, I don't know. Like, it's weird. And I think part of that is, for me, the inescapable allure of airships, which some days I like even more than trains. So that that's probably something. But also, I think it's just because this game is really based off of mobile games. And if we're honest, a lot of games that have flying around and ships and trading and combat are really boring. Airship Kingdoms Adrift does one thing really, really well. And that thing is, have you, the player, imagine what you'll do next. Like, everything will be so cool when I get this upgrade for my ship. And everything will be so cool when I get this ship. And everything will be so cool when I do this fight. But in between all of those things is hours of going from place to place and clicking on really boring things on the screen. And while you're sitting there waiting for those things to happen. You're imagining all the fun you're going to have in the future. And that's such a slot machine tactic of imagine the money you'll win if you just pull the lever one more time. Which is to say, what I like about Airship Colon Kingdoms Adrift is the reward. The reward of, oh, I defeated a tough enemy, I can make my airship better, I can afford a bigger airship, I can get bigger airship fights. But what I don't like is the gameplay loop that gets me there. And I think that's really important when evaluating a game, is you have to enjoy playing the game. You can't just enjoy the rewards. It would be like if you bought Magic the Gathering cards, but the thing you liked was just opening the packs. And I'm realizing that that's not a good example, because a lot of people just like opening the packs. So that's not quite the same. It is truly, I think, like a slot machine. I don't think anybody is playing a slot machine for the stunning gameplay. I think they're playing slot machines because they're imagining themselves winning. And that's really what Airship Kingdoms Adrift is doing. It really is truly like a slot machine. And honestly, after playing it a bit, I do see how they probably intended it to be a time-monetized mobile game. I, I really can see that. Which I guess brings me to my point. Obviously, I don't like the gameplay in Airship Kingdoms Adrift. I like building ships. There are very few things that are better than just absolutely destroying an enemy at the start of combat. And achieving that quick, decisive victory. But those are tiny fragments of the gameplay. 
Games should be engaging throughout. You don't have to have fun. Not every game is fun. Not every game is trying to be fun. But games should have a sort of a purpose throughout that engages you. And I'm not saying the games that engage me have to engage you. I know a lot of people that would love this game because they like slow, contemplative, click, go place, do thing style games. This one just bounced off of me. And for that reason, I'm going to have to give this game a 4 out of 10. And I suspect like some other games where the gameplay loop was just kind of not there and I was only interested in the reward system, I'm not going to be picking it up again. I did a surprise stream on Saturday where I played some Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. It's a CRPG in the 40k universe and I loved it. It was great. According to how long to beat, I have over 100 hours of game to just dig my little paws into and oh i'm just so excited i'm gonna stream it intermittently um i'm not gonna stream a hundred hours of this game because that would be 50 streams and i want to play it more than once a week so i'll stream it intermittently just for fun this is not becoming a warhammer 40k channel even though everything in my life right now is warhammer 40k but yeah it was great i learned that i'm bad at managing my team Sure. I'll just sure shoot this guy. Ow! Oh, my chest! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, she shot me right in the chest! Fine. Ow! You shot me. Uh. You're the worst psychic I've had on this boat. Ow! Ow! How have been zapped by lightning? Stop hurting your lord captain. I am enjoying the game so far. I've realized that I can't raid it because I'm not even 10% of the way through it. So by the time I'm ready to raid this game, it'll have been out for forever. Thus far, I can say I'm enjoying it. It reminds me exactly of Shadowrun Returns. And that's why I love it. I love Shadowrun Returns. I even looked up Shadowrun Returns writing this script. It is on sale right now. It is part of the spring Steam sale. And you should get it. You, you really should. Get the Shadowrun Returns trilogy. So that Shadowrun Returns, Shadowrun Dragonfall, and Shadowrun Hong Kong. All of them are great. All of them are fun. They are considerably shorter than Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. And they're a blast. Finally, I don't have a third topic, so I turn once more to Wikipedia, that sacred archive of free-to-edit knowledge. And I've learned this week that the Earth's mantle isn't actually made of rock that has been heated until it's sort of a molten mashed potato-like goo. It's mostly solid. And I mean, like, mostly, like, solid, solid. As it turns out, the bits of liquid rock exist in basically what we know of as hot spots and another small percentage sort of zones where liquid, the conditions for liquid rock exist. The majority of it is a solid, like a knock-on-wood style solid, as I understand it to be. And apparently solids can convect if they have certain physical properties that I don't understand. All I know is this blew my mind and it made me wish I had maybe studied geology. Because I did do like geology 101 and I loved geology. But uh, your only options, you know, when you get your geology degree are resource exploitation. And I just... I just didn't want to do that. So I did not become a geologist. And so I guess I'm learning more things about rocks. But it was fun and it was cool. That does it for this week on YouTube. Coming up, I have a Warhammer 40k Space Marine on Wednesday. Sorry one didn't come out last week. I'm not sure what happened. But there will be one this week. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.